What's up guys? So I've gotta be just a little bit quiet. Um, mainly because it's early and Kayla is still asleep, but, but. It is a commuting day, guys. Getting my bike ready at the moment, then we're going to go meet the group. And, but I, I need to do my headset today. Thought it was a really good time to cover this topic. Uh, all you need is usually a four, five, or six um, Allen key, and you're good to go. You can do your entire headset. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, but first, I gotta get ready. I gotta go commute in. But just so you know, I'm not full of crap. I was gonna show you the noise. Hold on a second. I have to hold this with my teeth. Alright guys, like I said before, we are going to take the Vigorelli here and we're going to overhaul the headset. It's not as hard as it looks, just trust me. Um, so to separate what you're working with from the clutter, get yourself a rag, um, preferably a clean, cleaner rag, and you're going to lay it on the floor, on your bench, on your workspace, and that is going to be where you lay all of the little parts that you're going to take off of your headset or if you're ever hauling a fork, your hubs, anything like that. Keep all those parts within the square of the rag. Uh, the reason you want to do this is so you don't lose anything and you can put it out exactly how you took it off. So even if you don't know what each individual part does on a headset, if you take them off, lay them out on this rag exactly how you took it off, it's gonna be super easy to put it back together. So let's get started on this guy. It's not gonna take too long. So my specific bicycle, the Vigorelli from Bianchi, I'm going to need a five Allen key millimeter, five millimeter Allen key for the top. And it's gonna be, it's pinch bolts on the side here. They're gonna be four millimeter. That is pretty standard, um, but it is not universal by any means. Um, but that, that is literally the only tools that I need to do this job. It's very easy. Take your front wheel out. It's gonna make it easier. I, I do recommend investing in a three-way tool. These, it's, it's basically three Allen keys, four, five, and six. That is 90% of the stuff on a bicycle. Loosen the pinch bolts. You just loosen the pinch bolts, though. You do not have to take them out. You just loosen them enough to where this moves freely. Um, this is your top cap. This is a compression cap. So basically, these two pinch bolts on the side here, they are the only thing that hold the fork on, or the only thing that matters to hold the fork on um, to the bike. This top here, essentially think of it like, um, like your bearing adjustment. So loosen these two pinch bolts, take the top off. Make sure you are holding the fork. If you're not holding onto the fork, it can just fall to the ground. Um, so here's where you're gonna start setting stuff to the side. Remove the handlebars. Remove the fork. This is where you wanna start laying stuff out exactly how it comes off. Um, so you're gonna have your spacers. So this is a wedge in here. This is more or less like a dust cover, your bearing cover. Um, so set them all exactly how you take them out. Bearings, mine is, this is an old Vigorelli, and it is my commuter bike. Um, 
Your bearings are probably gonna look a little bit differently. They're probably gonna be sealed cartridge bearings. Those are a little bit nicer. Just take these guys out, lay them exactly how they come out for you. This is where you start the cleaning process. Just squirt everything down, scrub it clean. The reason you really wanna clean this before you start putting the grease in, it's obviously because there's gonna be dirt and grime in here. Uh, nothing on a bicycle is completely sealed. If it was, the bike would weigh a lot. No one's gonna pay for a bike that weighs a lot. So just get in there, clean it. Make sure you do the same thing with all of your bearings, all that jazz. So what you wanna do now is get yourself a big canister of poly lube. We have something that you can kinda swivel it around in there, but whenever we're actually doing a complete headset overhaul, it's just easier to use your finger. Dip your finger in it, start going to town. And to ensure that there is no grit and grime or parts that can make noise on a headset, I grease each part individually, even if it is just a light coating of it before I put it back on the bike. Your bearings, they can only go in one way. Um, and you're, you're gonna know if you put this back together wrong. Um, it's gonna feel like crap. So, got the inside of the bearing greased. All right, here comes the fun part, putting it back together. So, you got your fork in one hand. What you're gonna have to end up doing though, as you're sliding the fork through the steer tube, you're gonna have to hold everything in place on the top, and you just force it in there. It's got lube, it'll go. So don't be dumb like me. Make sure your cables are all on the right side before you put the fork in. All right, so your fork is just free floating in here, so it will fall out if you let go. I usually get this started by hand. Take that one. And I get it to where it's snug. Um, a lot of times your pinch bolts will actually have a torque spec. These actually say five to six Newton meters. This top cap right here, they call it a compression cap for a reason. It is literally what keeps the fork from moving. Right now there's a lot of play. Whenever you tighten this down, it is gonna take up that play. You can tighten it down too much, which I'll show you, because this is my bike. If you tighten it down too much, you're, you're not gonna have fun when you steer. It's gonna feel very, very bad. That needs to be free floating, and if you do tighten it down too much, you can either A, crush your bearings right now, or it is just gonna wear them out prematurely. All right guys, so this is, this is the home stretch. Put your wheel back in the bike. Now one thing, one thing I'm quite terrible at is getting the stem straight while it is still in the stand. So I make sure that is where I like it. Like I said, you want it to be snug enough to where there is no play, but that's able to move free. I take it out of the stand. Makes it much easier to actually eyeball the stem and see if you're getting it straight or not. Once you're confident that it's straight, um, make sure you torque it. Get your handy dandy torque wrench out, snap it into place, and just make sure you don't over tighten that compression cap. You wouldn't believe the amount of times I've had people come in and the bearings are just crushed because they tightened it way too much. They thought that that was the only part of the bike that was holding the fork on, not the pinch bolts, but the compression cap. Um, so keep that in mind. And I always try to ride the bike right after I do the work. Um, I do it right after, so I don't forget. And I always ride it, so the next time I go for a ride, I don't notice something wrong and have to try to fix it uh, in the heat of the moment, if you know what I'm saying. Let's get suited up, let's go ride back home.
So yeah guys, that is how to overhaul a headset. Mine is um, squeaky clean now. Well, it's not squeaky clean because I put grease in it. It's it's, it's silent. Um, it's, it's good. To me it is something easy. Something very simple that everybody could do at home. Um, I know a lot of people come in and think that it looks a little too intimidating to do themselves, but it's not. It's, it's very simple. Um, you can do it just with usually a four, five, or six Allen key. Um, yeah, that's about all that I have for you today. Make sure to stay tuned. I've got more stuff coming. See ya. What is this? What am I, what am I pointing at? That's weird. Um, anyway, bye. I just found another rubber band for the ball. Score!